Okay, so welcome to this next video in the playlist on uh, inflammation and angiogenesis. In this video, we're going to talk about cell adhesion molecules, which are proteins that are on the surface of cells. They're integral membrane proteins, so they span the membrane, and they're involved in attaching cells to other cells, and also in attaching cells to the extracellular matrix. Okay, so uh, what we're going to look at is the four different families of cell adhesion molecules, and then we're going to take one of these families and discuss it in this video, and then we'll discuss two of the other families in upcoming videos. Okay, so let's just start off with the very basics. So, if we have a cell here, so this is the cell membrane, okay, then basically it can have a cell adhesion molecule, which I'm at the moment going to draw very crudely, just as a box, basically. Okay, and uh, this cell adhesion molecule can either attach, attach to another cell adhesion molecule on a different cell. Okay, here we go. And this cell adhesion molecule that it's attaching to on a different cell it could be the exact same type of cell adhesion molecule that this cell, let's label this cell 1 and this cell 2. Um, so the cell adhesion molecule on cell 2, which I'm going to label here in pink, this could be the same type of cell adhesion molecule as you've used on uh, cell 1, which I'll put here in blue, or they could be different. Okay, right. Now there's uh, two words that are very important uh, when we're discussing cell adhesion molecules. Okay, so there is homophilic binding, and this describes the binding when you have two identical uh, cell adhesion molecules bound together. Okay, so let me draw a picture for homophilic binding. So you'd have one cell adhesion molecule on cell 1, and then you'd have an exactly identical cell adhesion molecule on uh, cell 2. So these would be the exact same protein, basically, and they're both linked together, and they are linking the two cells. Okay, so here's the cell membrane of cell 1, and here's the cell membrane of cell 2. So this is homophilic binding. And then there is hetero binding. So homo means the same, hetero means different. So heterophilic binding means when you've got um, two cell adhesion molecules bound together, like here really, this was a heterophilic binding, and the two cell adhesion molecules are not the same. So you've bound one cell adhesion molecule to a different type of cell adhesion molecule. So maybe it's a longer here, and we'll just put them in different colours. So here's the cell adhesion molecule of cell 1, and that's a certain protein, okay, and then the cell adhesion molecule of cell 2 is a different protein, so we'll have that one in red here. Okay, now this is one way you can get heterophilic binding. However, cell adhesion molecules don't just bind to other cell adhesion molecules on other cells. They also bind to the extracellular matrix. And when you've got a cell adhesion molecule binding to the extracellular matrix, that's also considered heterophilic binding. So let's just draw a portion of the extracellular matrix. So remember, the extracellular matrix you can imagine as a dense spider's web that surrounds each and every cell, and it's... Uh, what is structuring the interstitial space, basically. Okay, and it keeps every cell in its uh, normal position. Okay, so here's the cell adhesion molecule in blue, and it's now attached to a certain uh, protein that's involved in the extracellular matrix. We'll have this in green, okay? So this is some extracellular matrix uh, protein, and the extracellular matrix is often abbreviated to ECM for short. So I'll write it down once, so this is extracellular matrix, and it's a certain extracellular matrix protein, and this would be abbreviated to E for extra, C for cellular, and M for matrix, ECM. Right, and we'll label up the cell adhesion molecule, and cell adhesion molecules are usually just abbreviated to CAM. Okay, so this is a cell adhesion molecule, a CAM. Right, okay, so just to uh, labour the point of them being an integral membrane protein, and we'll look at their structures in more detail when we actually look at the different four different families. 
okay? So basically, it's a protein that is sitting within the phospholipid bile there. So here's the phospholipid bile there. And you have three major portions, okay? So let's divide it up with these imaginary lines across here, okay? So this first portion, which I'm highlighting in vivid purple, this is the portion that actually spans the membrane, okay? And this will be called a transmembrane region. Oh, and by the way, this is uh, a simple diagram. I've drawn the protein as a box. Of course, it's not really going to look like a box. So this is just simple nomenclature with, for a simple diagram. So the transmembrane region is the portion which spans the phospholipid bilayer. So it's often abbreviated to TM for transmembrane and then R for region. Okay. Then you have the extracellular domain, which I've now highlighted in green up here. Okay, so this is the extracellular domain. Okay, and again, extracellular domain is often abbreviated to ECD for short. So E for extra, C for cellular, and then D for domain. So that gives you ECD for short. E, C, D. Okay, and then this final portion that's on the inside of the cell here, which we'll highlight in blue, this is the intracellular domain. Okay, or again, for short, it will be ICD. I for intra, C for cellular, and D for domain. So this is intracellular domain. Okay, and the extracellular domain is the portion that will uh, interact either with another extracellular domain of another cell adhesion molecule or with the extracellular matrix protein. Right, okay, so now we've discussed that. Let's discuss the four major families of cell adhesion molecules. Okay, so family one is the one that we're going to discuss for the rest of this video, okay? So it's what's known as the immunoglobulin superfamily cell adhesion molecules. Okay, so it's got a big grandiose title, immunoglobulin superfamily, okay, uh, and then cell adhesion molecules. So CAMS for short, but we'll write it all out to give it its full name, cell adhesion molecules. Now, because that is a right mouthful, uh, if you um, want to abbreviate this, then the abbreviation for immunoglobulin is IG, okay? So you put a capital I and a lowercase g for immunoglobulin, so that's that bit. Uh, superfamily is abbreviated to SF, so IGSF means immunoglobulin superfamily, and then you will put CAMS as a separate word. Okay, so this is the immunoglobulin superfamily cell adhesion molecules. Okay, right, so uh, we will come back to this family and look at examples uh, in a moment, but let's just firstly see the other families, and we'll look at these other families in separate videos. Okay, so family two, firstly. Okay, so family two is the integrins. Okay, and when we look at examples of the immunoglobulin superfamily cell adhesion molecules, we'll actually see that often these are involved in binding to integrins. So we will see some integrins through looking at examples of immunoglobulin superfamily cell adhesion molecules, because the thing they generally bind to is then an integrin. Okay, uh, then the third family, let me just straighten this back out, is the selectins, okay, so another very important family of um, proteins uh, in immunology. We see E selectin, P selectin, L selectin all over immunology. Okay, and then the final family we're not going to discuss because it's not really that important for immunology, uh, but it is very important example of cell adhesion molecules, okay, uh, but it's generally what uh, cells in your normal tissue will uh, be bound to each other by, okay, and it's uh, the cadherins, okay. So this is a very important family of uh, cell adhesion molecules, but that it, as I say, it's not uh, relevant for immunology, so we'll look at 
Uh, in this video, we'll continue looking at the immunoglobulin superfamily cell adhesion molecules. Then in upcoming videos, we'll look at the integrins and synectins, but we'll ignore the cadherins. So each of these four families has a huge number of members within it, which are all cell adhesion molecules. And we'll continue this discussion in the next video.